Here we have a Radio Shack HTX 252. And this radio is fully functional, but it has this one problem where the squelch stays open unless you wiggle the channel selector here. So I've, I've previously been in this radio and I've discovered that there's some sort of cold solder joint very deep in the bowels of the radio and uh, the, the previous fix was to put a shim in there to keep the uh, the electronic, the uh, circuit board, the channel knob is mounted to uh, sort of in place but that has since failed so now we're going to have to go in and dig a little deeper and see if we can find the, uh, the actual problem All right, while I wait for the soldering iron to heat up I've, uh, I've taken a look at this thing and I suspect that I have a bad solder joint back here. This front PCB is mounted to the bottom PCB just through some solder fillets here along the edge. Kind of a uh, cheap and easy way to do a 90 degree connection between PCBs, but probably not the most reliable thing in the world. Uh, would have been better to use some sort of uh, connector system, but I'm sure this is how, uh, how they were able to manufacture the radio and sell it so cheaply. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and touch up some of these solder joints as a first step and see if that uh, helps the problem. Okay, so what I did was I reflowed each one of these solder fillets. I connected the main board to the front panel board, and I do believe the problem is fixed. I've tapped on this front panel, I've played with the controls, and the squelch now seems to function quite normally. So I think that's it for tonight. It's getting kind of late. So I'll unplug the solder and iron here. And uh, in the morning, I might see if I can adjust the deviation control. I think uh, the, uh, the deviation control on this radio is set a little too high. It needs to be uh, backed down a little bit, at least for, uh, for this radio's owner. Uh, his voice punches through a little hard, and uh, I think it overmodulates this radio a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that next.